Hey Star Wars fans, Budget Jedi here with a quick weekend project. I'm gonna try something today. So uh, this is my six inch Black Series Darth Revan. Comes with two sabers. And uh, you know, it's, it's a very cool figure. You guys know I love my Siths and uh, Jedis. And uh, you know, I'm trying to pose him with, you know, his legs have really really good articulation but I'm sort of annoyed by this uh, what do you call it this is a uh, middle skirt here let's call it middle skirt and uh, I feel like it's really in the way I'm gonna put on a stand on him I feel like if I'm trying to pose him sort of lower then that uh, little skirt gets in the way so I'm going to try to uh, replace this with an actual cloth goods or soft goods uh, and I actually purchased this online it's a corduroy sample it's cheaper than actually ordering a you know a yard full or a few yards of uh, the cloth and uh, it looks like it might you know it's it's pretty close in color I'm trying to get it to focus here it looks like it might be pretty close in color and shape so alright so the first thing I'm gonna do is try to actually remove this middle skirt red part which is a little scary but it has to be done and it doesn't look like I can remove it um, remove the uh, uh, the black belt part here so it has to kinda of stay on the figure All right, so pretty much removed it. I have to repaint this part, but that's really Hasbro's fault for adding more red paint than they should. And then uh, I'm going to cut a new piece of cloth with my corduroy piece. All right, so let me explain the original idea behind what I'm trying to do today. I got this cloth that I cut up, which is a lot wider than the original uh, extra skirt piece that he had. And what the idea is, is to actually put a little bit of wiring inside here. And here I've got floral wire that I got, I don't know if you can see here, it says florist wire. Uh, I got this from Michaels, I think for $2. And, uh, you know, you put it in flowers and articulated branches and stuff. Uh, but it's very helpful for trying to articulate skirts like this. And what I'm going to try to do is basically fold over a piece of the cloth right here, put the wire in there. And so his new skirt piece is going to be somewhat articulated. You can like move it back and forth, which is really cool. If it works. All right, I did some more cutting and I think this is the shape that I want. So the top part is going to be glued on like this. And the bottom part, the reason it looks like this is because I'm going to end up fold, folding over this, this whole part here. Except maybe for the top, so I'm just going to cut it. Let me just cut both sides here real quick. Alright, so technically this is going to be folded over but leaving a little bit of lip here at the top so I can I can glue it I just need something to hold on to hold the skirt on and that whole area is going to be folded right in and so is that one alright so let me try one side first got my floral wire here I have my super glue this time I'm using super glue because I think it'll just be a lot quicker and stronger um, let me check for a second that it's going to be the same width. It's going to be a little wider, but that's okay. So I have to leave myself room for error. All right, here we go. All right, I hope that doesn't bleed over too much, but uh, I got the glue on. Let's see if this works.
All right, it's sticking some. And I think I just need to keep pushing it down for a bit. All right, after about 20 seconds or so, the super glue, I think, did its job. You know, it looks pretty nice. If anybody out there knows how to make these things really straight or use some kind of contraption to do so, let me know because I can never do it. Alright, now I'm gonna guess do the top. I'm gonna glue this part so that it all sticks together. Got some leftover pieces here. Simply gonna cut that off. All right, let's see how this works out. I'm gonna go ahead and put some super glue on this and install it in the back of this black piece here. Applied a very generous amount of super glue. And I really hope I don't ruin this figure too much. Let's see. Alright. Now let me leave this figure the heck alone for hours. Alright, so it's been a couple hours. I came back and this is what he looks like. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think it looks a lot better than the way it was before. Uh, I'm open to suggestions. I just kind of bought this online. You know, this was a corduroy piece like I uh, mentioned earlier in the video. But I'm not sure what other similar looking cloth or maybe types of fabric that can reproduce this uh, pattern. Nice 3D uh, sort of uh, lines here. Uh, let me know if anyone's got suggestions. Uh, stuck on there really good. I don't think it's coming out. And, you know, luckily I didn't really damage any of this under skirt underneath it. So, so I'm pretty happy with it. Of course, I wish this was also made out of soft goods. But that's okay. Uh, I'll take what I can get. Uh, probably, hopefully somebody will... Do a, a mod that's even better than mine and you know maybe all full of uh, cloth that would be great but for now he looks good standing there like that uh, and check this out I mean I can articulate it any way I want really this can go all the way out there if he was jumping or you know just flailing it to the side like this that looks pretty good to me uh, so, you know, I'm going to try to have him on a pose right now. Alright, here's a quick setup that I did. Uh, Revan cutting down a bunch of uh, first order troopers. Yeah, he wouldn't be dealing with them in the first place, of course. But, uh, you know, these are the troopers that I had nearby. But just to show you, I mean, Revan has really super articulated legs. So, uh, that middle skirt piece was really getting in the way for me. And uh, I feel like it's it's a lot better for him to have this. So, uh, just a quick, you know, show of what this figure can really do. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm always open to, there's a lot of good ideas out there that the community has. And uh, if there's any, anyone who has a better idea on what cloth or what type of fabric to use for this uh, application, let me know. Or uh, if there's some technique that I missed that I really should be trying out. But... Uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with uh, the first try so far, so hoping uh, you guys can get a use out of this idea too. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.